Cobbiz. Hello everyone, this is Yash Saxena and you are watching Cobbiz. In this video, we are going to talk about the BIS ISI for wires and cables. Most short circuit and electrical fires are caused by melting wires and cables and there are currently no regulations in India for fire survival wiring and cables. For fire survival, wires and cables, the domestic sector is now benchmarking itself towards British standards that is BS7846. These wires are designed to endure the temperatures of up to 950 degrees Celsius for 3 hours. The BIS is in charge of standardizing specification for fire survival wires and cables. Because copper has a melting temperature of 1085 degrees Celsius, copper will be required for these wires. So, what is BIS and why it is important for your business? The BIS, Bureau of Indian Standards Certification, is a mark of the product's safety, quality, and credibility customers buy a brand and producers. BIS was established by parliamentary legislation in 1987. BIS is also involved in testing, product certification, hallmarking, calibration schemes, standard creation, and other options. The BIS product certification is one of the largest in the world, allowing qualified companies to put up the ISI mark on their products, which is synonymous with the quality and safety. Benefits that you get when your product is BI certified are enhanced total quality management. It helps in getting cleared of overhead expenses used in manufacturing products. It is used as a strong evidence of quality products. Helps in better utilization of resources. Ensures access to untapped and overseas market. Helps in improving market reputation. The list of different products in this sector is very long. Like specification for PVC insulated electric cables part 1. For working voltages up to including 1100 volt welding cables specification for thermocoupled compensating cables etc and each one of them have different standards given by the BIS to get details on them you can visit our blog link is in the description moving forward let's discuss what documents you would require to apply for the BIS certificate name and address proof of the office name and address proof of factory authorized representative letter if applicable signed by another person than CEO of the firm valid MSME certificate if applicable flow chart of manufacturing process, whether any manufacturing operation is outsourced or not, list of manufacturing machinery and so on. Like always, to make things clear in this short video, we have divided the procedure into few simple steps for better understanding. First is fill out an application form. The application form must be filled out and submit all the essential documents and pay reasonable fees for the process and testing of the product samples. Second, factory inspection will be conducted. After filling out the application form, the BIS officer and the inspection team will visit your factory premise to inspect the manufacturing process and production facilities and take the same product as a sample for the testing in their laboratories. Test of product samples. The test of the product samples is conducted in BIS authorized laboratory and check the quality and safety of the product as per Indian standards verification and review test report after the test procedure. The BIS official and inspection team will review the test report and verify all the documents. Documents. BIS ISI certification granted. If all the process goes well, the process will complete successfully. Then the BIS is granted and BIS ISI for wires and cables. Finally, if wires and cables producers is subject to the BIS conformity assessment scheme, they must receive BIS ISI for wires and cables. The Bureau may terminate the license if the conditions of the license are not met according to Regulation 11 of the 2018 BIS Conformity Assessment and Regulation. So, this was all about the topic. For more such content, subscribe to our channel, Cobbest. Thank you.